Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. So we're out here on the river watching another awesome sunset. We haven't even got our lines wet. That's right, I said we, because we're fishing with Alex this afternoon. There you are. All right, so what we're doing is saltwater bait for freshwater catfish. We're gonna fish with saltwater bait. So we're gonna fish with stuff like white trout, which is a legal bait down here. We're gonna use ladyfish, different things such as that and this is bait that's left over from a session alex did down south here in louisiana in grand isle the reason why we're doing that we did bring the cast net we had a really really bad storm come through last night and all the mullet are too far to get in a net they're too far out so we'd have to be in a boat to get mullet we might be able to get some later on because as the evening progresses they might come in closer so we're going to go with what we got and we'll see if we can get some nice catfish now I know that we're gonna get gaff top with this bait. Let's see if we can get blues or channels too. This is a ladyfish. Ooh, you could tell it's from a few days ago. It's pretty soft. So we're gonna fish with the head with a little bit of meat on there. We're gonna put this on an OT8 hook with a three ounce lead on a sinker slide on my big 12 foot ugly stick. So we're fishing the mouth of the industrial canal. The whole reason for that is because we think we might be having this dock here, but usually when there's a lot of activity like this, when the river boats and the barges are kind of stalled right in front of here over this hole, catfish don't really bite that much. Not as good as when they're gone. So here we are. While we're fishing, while we're watching these two rods, mine and his, I'm gonna try to throw on this cast net because there is some bait activity here. See if we can get some better bait, something fresher. Nice, got something. Let's see what we got here. Alex got us a, a bait fish. Don't know what it is yet. It's a giant menhaden. I'm not oh, sure yeah. that's, oh, no, it's a that's a, it's a no. Oh, no. What is it? I think that's a skipjack. Oh. Prime catfish bait there. Yeah, right. We don't see those too often down here. Oh. oh no. Yes. Go put that on ice. Put it in the tote. Let's see if we can get another. They're coming in. That's not mullet we were seeing active out there. A lot of people down here will call a skipjack river herring. So when you call them skipjack, they don't know what you're talking about. We're getting a bite. I wanted to see if I could get a, some more skipjack, but my, my rod tip is scratching the sky there. Let's put this net down. One skipjack, man. It's pretty cool. Skipjack versus ladyfish. This is probably, uh, oh, what are you? Be something worth pulling up. I want something big to take a ride on this hook, not a gaff top. But you know, there's a lot of gaff top these, these days because it's late summer. Got a slack line. Reel that up a little bit. Yeah, it's probably just a little gaff top messing with it. That hook's probably too big for it to get up on top of. All right, here's our little river herring. I'm gonna put it on my other 12 foot rod. This rig is the same, an eight, three ounces of lead. I'm gonna fish with the head of this. We've got all the other rods out. Alex has one of my Tidewaters out and his rod. So four rods in total is what we're fishing this evening. I'm gonna put the skipjack head out into the river right up against this sandbar that we're fishing near. Nice, that was a good long cast. That's why I brought these rods out so I can get out a little further. This is going to be in the hole, but up against where the sandbar is. The sandbar goes out right here. Oh, there's skipjack here. That wasn't a mullet. I'll try to get some for later, Alex.
let's take care of this. One for the skipjack. We've got a slack line on the other 12 foot rod. Oh, look at the bend in this rod, Alex. I thought we were gonna have a mediocre session out here because we've been watching phantom bites. We've been watching gaff tops. Ooh, ooh, look at the fight. I'm watching gaff tops mess with our baits. If I say get it, go in the go in the pack and grab the blue rope. It's the this might be a gar. I don't think it is because I got head shakes. I don't have straight runs. Okay, yeah. Oh shoot! We got a double on. It's a tie. Oh my god, look at that. You see that fin coming up? Whoa. Whoa! Did you have something break the water like... Yeah, I saw his tail. Moby Dick with wings? I got some kind of Moby here too. Oh, look at him. Holy moly, look at that. Look at that. Look at this, Alex. Look at the beast. The beast. Oh my God. Let's get this in because Alex has, has Moby on the line there. Get this one up. Let's get Alex's. Holy moly, Alex. Big ass catfish. That anal fin looks kind of rounded. It's wow. You see that? Okay, so I know that we've got these fish just seriously dressed up in sand, but this one, the one Alex just pulled in on the ladyfish head is a blue cat, but we're scratching our head. Alex and I are gonna come up channel cat on this. We're not 100% sure. We think it might be a channel cat. It is much different. It looks more like a channel cat than a blue cat. Let us know down in the comments what you think. I know a lot of people are going to be like blue cat and a lot of people are going to be channel cat. And somebody might say something else. So if it is a channel cat, that is a massive channel cat. It's much darker and it looks like he has one eye. Look, his eye is missing here. Wow. Those are massive fish. Check those out. Nice. Nice double header, man. These are both, both these fish are way too big to keep, in our opinion anyway. If you disagree, you do you, boo. <laughs> but both of us don't like dealing, we don't like eating fish that are this big, catfish anyways, because they, they're tough. They don't eat good, in our opinion. But these are big breeders anyway. This, oh yes, go kick it in there. Here you go, baby. All right, big monster fish number two. Go kick in there. Let's burp them, or you know what I mean. Get them, get them ready to go back. 
There he goes. Oh man, this light is just blinding, but it is what I need it to be. So this session worked out a lot better than I thought it would. I thought we were gonna just maybe catch a couple of gaff tops because there's been a lot of them out here lately. And like I said, we started with just a little bit of bait. I, I'm impressed that I got, or actually Alex pulled in that big blue on that ladyfish head yep. on, that I put out there. And then that huge, I think that was a channel cat. And if that was a channel cat, we're pretty sure it was. At its size, it means that that was a really old dude. That was an old channel cat. That's why he took forever to kick back in. So that was awesome. One on the skipjack head, one on the ladyfish head. Now you're not gonna find ladyfish head, you know, heads maybe in, in a, a supermarket up in Nebraska somewhere, but that that is like a brackish saltwater bait fish. And the skipjack you can find in a lot of rivers in North America. So pretty pretty decent session overall. It's time to go. Like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.